The school opened in 96 and our daughter started kindergarten in 1997. Three kids, um, two are through the school and one is in sixth grade. The very first time in the school I was so impressed. The teachers were so kind. And more impressed with it every year, honestly, honestly. Everyone is working together to make, you know, Valley Crossing a safe place and, you know, a community that they all want to be a part of. I feel like the students believe that everyone in the school, all adults, care for them. We spend the first 20 minutes every day in a morning meeting. But when you do those kinds of things, you're really setting up a stage so that the academics can go as smoothly as possible. The kids will open up into sharing about special events or things that are happening in their life, you know, something exciting that's coming up. Talking about themselves and then inviting their classmates to ask them questions. When you know them more than just a classmate, but you know them as a kind of a community, you treat them differently. One thing that I was noticing at Valley Crossing was there wasn't bullying in the school and that everybody kind of talked to everybody else. If you're having each student greet each other student, it makes it a lot tougher to be mean to somebody. It's easier to get along, to work together when you've already greeted each other that morning and maybe had a, a simple game together. Kids each have their own individual needs, socially, emotionally, but also academically. Well, we look at each individual student and continuous progress. We take them where they are right now and they, we move them forward. You're never going to see your kid challenged beyond what they can handle because they put them where they need to be. Every time they're starting a new unit, they're going to assess the kids and see if somebody is ready to move up and go to something that's a little more challenging, a little more complicated, and if they are ready for that, then they move up. What I really want to see is kids who are critical thinkers, who are problem solvers, who can kind of look at situations and information and analyze that and make decisions based on that. When students are, are given a problem and they're able to discover it, and they come up with an answer on their own instead of being told this is the way it is. It's going to be more meaningful to them. They'll be more excited about learning more. Students learn best when they're in an environment where they can engage socially. You learn more when you can talk to each other, when you can teach others, when you can report out to others, when you can share new ideas and perspectives. We're teaching you these concepts and the ideas, but we're also teaching you how to do things like work in teams or how to get along with other people, how to share. When they're learning how to communicate what they're thinking, that's huge. And then the other student gets to hear and it may have been something that they didn't think about and here they've just had another student teach them something else. The source of all learning about reading is not me or any other teacher, that they have that inside themselves to actually share. That's, that's powerful for kids. In a multi-age school, it, it's set up like real life that you have a mixed age of kids and you can learn from somebody who's older and you can help somebody who's younger and there's not as much pressure or competition. You spend two years with a kid and two years with a family as well and there's just that level of trust there that's not maybe what you would expect in a traditional school. They really know your child and that has been a very big thing for us. We don't have to start over every single year. We know the kids, they know us, and it, it just feels comfortable from day one. So. I mean, it feels like parents are involved too and welcome to be a, a part of the whole process. We're very fortunate in this building to have so many parents that volunteer here and are supportive of the school. They're invited to be part of curriculum committees. We have parents that are on shared decision site council. I think that that parent involvement here is huge. Parents will be like, no, but really, I can just come in? It's like, yeah, you can, actually. We want you to be here. So I got to meet my, my children's peers. I got to see firsthand how the teacher was in the classroom, to be in the environment of the classroom. It just gave me a better understanding of how the school worked.
We want you to see what's going on with your kid. That's a good thing in my book. When you can have a, a, a staff that really understands curriculum, really understands kids developmentally, and then likes what they do, it's like uh, the magic just happens. It really does.